Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to identify the expression for VIH for a resistive load inverter. Okay, let's get started. VIH is nothing but input high, which means my output is low because it's an inverter. We also know by definition that this is another point apart from VIL on the voltage transfer characteristics where my slope is equal to minus 1 or dv out by dv in is equal to minus 1. So as a standard procedure we'll try to identify the region of operation for my NMOS transistor. Once I identify that I'll equate the value of the current flowing to the transistor to the value of the current flowing through the resistor. So input high is nothing but VGS high because we know input is nothing but VGS that is nothing but VGS is greater than or equal to my threshold voltage for my NMOS transistor. This shows that my transistor is on. Now what I am left to identify is whether the my transistor is operating in the linear region or in the saturation region. And for that I'll use the equation of VDS and VGS minus VT and identify the sign. VDS we know is nothing but output voltage. VGS we know is nothing but the input voltage. So V out is output low, input high, the sign would be less than sign. This shows that my transistor is operating in the linear region. So what we are left to do now is equate the value of NMOS transistor in linear region to the value of the current flowing through the resistor. Let's do that. So linear region equation, let's write it. Kn by 2, twice VGS. Now I'm not going to write VGS, I'm straight away going to write VGS nothing but V in minus VT. VDS is nothing but V out minus V out square is equal to VDD minus V out upon RL. Now let's differentiate this equation with respect to V in and let's put dv out by dv in equal to minus 1. Let's quickly do this minus 1 by rl dv out by dv in equal to kn by 2 twice v in minus vt dv out by dv in plus twice v out minus I'm just continuing the equation a bit down minus twice v out dv out by dv in. Let's substitute the value of dv out by dv in equal to minus 1. kn v in minus vt into minus 1 plus twice v out. Remember this is a separate line don't get confused. So this is my equation. Now on simplifying this equation we'll get the value of VIH and also putting V in equal to VIH. Therefore, VIH equal to VT plus twice V out minus 1 by KNRL. Let's call this as equation 2 and this as equation 1. Here what we do is, or if you observe carefully, equation 1 and equation 2, both these equations have two unknowns one is V in which is nothing but VIH and other one is a V out. Thus what we do is we try to solve this equations by substituting the value of VIH that is equation 2 in equation 1 and first we'll find out the value of V out and then correspondingly we'll find the value of VIH. Let's quickly do this. First let's write both the equations again. VDD minus V out upon RL k in by 2 twice v in minus vt into v out minus v out square. This is one of the equations and the other equation was nothing but vih equal to vt plus twice v out minus 1 by k in RL. Let's substitute the value of VIH in the above equation. Let's quickly do that. That means VDD minus V out upon RL equal to KN by 2 twice V in is nothing but VT plus twice V out minus 1 by KN RL minus VT 
the whole thing into v out minus v out squared. This is nothing but a quadratic equation in terms of v out. We already know how to take or how to solve the quadratic equation. It will give us two roots. In this case, the positive root will give us a desired result. So that is nothing but v out when v in equal to vih is nothing but 2 by 3 vdd upon knrl. So this gives me the value of v out which I am going to substitute in the value of vih which will leave me with the vih value of vt minus 1 by knrl plus 8 by 3 vdd upon knrl. So like this I found the value of my vih and I also found the corresponding value of v out. So in all the four vol, voh, vl and vih we have sound out mathematically the values of the expression and we did that by equating the values of currents by identifying the region of operation of my NMOS transistor. Now with all these parameters we can easily find noise margin. Hope you have understood. Stay tuned for problems on resistive load inverter. Thank you.